Sup guys, welcome to the seventh lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri, and today we're going to learn about point operations. Now, point operations also come under image enhancement. What are point operations? They are a method of image processing in which each pixel in the output image is only dependent upon the corresponding pixel in the input image and is independent of its location or neighboring pixels. Now, if we have an image, suppose we have 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, and these are the pixel values. And if we have an output image here, okay, with some pixel values, then the output pixel of this, uh, this one, it will only depend on this 0 here. It won't depend on the neighboring pixels or on the location. It will just depend this this value will only depend on the pixel value of this one similarly this value here will depend only on this one it won't depend on the location or on the neighboring pixels so this is what this means now let r be the gray level at a point x comma y of the input image f of x comma y and s be the gray value at a point x comma y of the output image g of x comma y then the point operation can be defined as follows so the point operation can be represented as s is equal to t of r where t is the point operation of a certain gray level mapping relationship between the original image and the output image so if s represents a gray value at the output image and r represents the gray value at the input image then t is the transformation function which is applied on the input image so that we get the output image now we look at different types of processes which come under point operations okay the first one is digital negative the formula for which is s is equal to l minus 1 minus r now we know what s is s is the gray value of the output image and r is the gray value of the input image so it is a gray value of any point x comma y in the input image and this for the output image but what is l minus 1 now l minus 1 is the highest value of the interval suppose we have these pixel values okay now these lie in the range 0 to l minus 1 okay this is the discrete intensity interval okay 0 to l minus 1 but still what is l minus 1 how do we get the highest intensity value looking at this image now if we look at the pixel values the highest pixel value here is 6 right 6 is the highest pixel value now if we try to represent these pixels as powers of 2 now suppose we have 2 here and we are trying to represent these pixel values as powers of 2. If we take 2 of 0, we get 1. 2 of 1, we get 2. 2 square, 4. And 2 cube, 8. Now 6 lies between 0 to 8, right? 6 is the highest pixel value and it lies between 0 to 8. So that's why what we'll do is we'll take the number of bits as 3 and we'll take L value as 8. So assuming the image to be 3 bit, we have 2 raised to 3 equal to 8 levels. So what we did here, since 6 was less than 8, that's why we took the number of bits, n equal to 3, and L value we took, how, how do we get the L value? We get it 2 raised to n, which is 2 raised to 3 or 8. Okay, so once we do this, now how do we calculate the output image? See, if we take r equal to 0, then the s value would be l minus 1 minus r so l minus 1 minus 0 which is l minus 1 now let's 
make this easier for us to calculate we'll take this we got l as 8 right so we'll do 8 minus 1 minus r or 7 minus r so once we do this we'll get 7 minus 0 which is 7 when r is 1 we'll get 7 minus 1 which is 6 when r is 2 we'll get 7 minus 2 5 now so on we'll keep doing it until r equal to 7 okay why 7 because 7 is the highest interval value what is the interval 0 to l minus 1 or 8 minus 1 7 so our interval value is 0 to 7 okay so that's why here we'll get 7 minus 7, which is 0. So using all of these values, what will be our output image? Now the output image or modified image can be obtained with the help of these values. Okay, suppose the first pixel value is 4. So 7 minus 4 would be 3. So we we'll write down 3 here. 7 minus 3 would be 4. So we write down 4 here. 7 minus 5, our value would be 2. 7 minus 2, 5. 7 minus 3, 4. 7 minus 6, 1. 7 minus 4, 3. 7 minus 6, 1. 5, 5. 7 minus 6, 1. 7 minus 5, 2. 7 minus 7, 0. 1, 3 and 6. So this would be our modified image or digital negative. Okay. This is the digital negative of our input image. Now if we try to draw the graph here, suppose we draw a graph here, where R is for the input image and S is for the output image. The maximum values for this graph would be L minus 1. Why? Because our interval was between 0 to L minus 1, right? So L minus 1 is the maximum value and in our case, we have L minus 1 as 7 okay now if we try to put in the values then for r equal to 0 we have s value as 7 okay so this would be one point for us where r is 0 and s is 7 similarly where r is 7 s value is 0 so this would be another point for us now when r is 1 s is 6 okay so we can take 6 somewhere here when r is 1. When r is 2, s is 5. So we can take that point somewhere here when r is 2. So similarly, if we draw all the values, then we would get a graph like this. Okay, so this would be our graph for the digital negative. The next operation is thresholding. Now thresholding is quite simple. Okay, and there's always a value of t given in the question. Now suppose we have the same image here, which we used for the previous example. Okay, and what is L value? L is equal to 8 and L minus 1 is equal to 7. Now to get the output image for thresholding, we have a specific function. Okay, which we can write as s is equal to l minus 1 when r is greater than or equal to 4 and is equal to 0 when r is less than 4. Okay, so what does this mean? We have l minus 1 value as 7. Okay, now r represents the pixel values of the input image and s represents the pixel values of the output image. 
so this particular function basically means that if r value is between 0 and 4 which is if r is equal to 0 1 2 3 then we'll have the s value as 0 and if r value is 4 5 6 and 7 then the s value would be 7 okay so this is what it means now based on this if we have to get the output we can write it as suppose 4 for 4 value it will be 7 so we write 7 for the next pixel 3 it will be 0 okay for 5 5 is again greater than 4 so we write 7 2 2 is less than 4, we write 0. So similarly, we can fill up all the rest of the values. 6 would be 7. For 4, it would be 7. 6, 7. For 2, it would be 0. Again, 0. 7, 5, 7, 7, 7. 7 and 0 okay so this is our output image after thresholding now what is our graph for thresholding if we try drawing a graph here where x-axis is r y-axis is x and here we have l minus 1 L minus 1 which is 7 then suppose we take somewhere around here t equal to 4 now from 0 to 3 we have the value as 0 okay so we won't draw anything from this 0 to 3 but then from 4 to 7 we have the value as 7 we have the s value as 7 so here it goes on increasing and here till the value is 7 So this would be our graph okay from 0 to 3 it has the value 0 and from 4 to 7 it has the value 7. Now the next operation is clipping. Now for every clipping operation there will be two values given in the question r1 equal to 2 and r2 equal to 5. So this is the question for us and this is again the image which we had taken before now again l is equal to 8 so l minus 1 we have the value as 7 now for clipping our function would look like this s is equal to l minus 1 for r which lies between 2 and 5 okay and 0 otherwise so what will happen in this case is that for each of these pixel values okay if r is equal to 0 1 okay for r is equal to for 2 3 4 and 5 s would be 7 this is 7 S would be 7 and for other values like 0 1 6 and 7 s value would be 0 okay so if we try to form the output image here based on the given function then for the value 4 we'll have s as 7 for 3 we'll again have it as 7 for 5, 7. So if r lies between 2 and 5, then we'll have the maximum value possible, which is 7. And in any other case, it will be 0. Okay, so 2 value again, we have it as 7. 3 lies between the range. So 7, 6 lies outside the range. So we'll have it as 0. 4, it lies between the range. So 7, 6 outside the range so 0 
टू इन द रेंज सेवन टू अगेन इन द रेंज सेवन सिक्स वील हैव जीरो फाइव इन द रेंज सो वील हैव सेवन सेवन आउटसाइड द रेंज सो जीरो सिक्स इट इज आउटसाइड द रेंज जीरो फोर इन द रेंज सेवन वन आउटसाइड द रेंज सो जीरो सो दिस इज आर आउटपुट मीट्रिक्स और आउटपुट इमेज ओके एंड बेस्ड ऑन दीज कंडीशन वी गॉट द आउटपुट इमेज नाउ वट इज द ग्राफ फॉर क्लिपिंग द ग्राफ वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस इफ यू टेक दिस एस आर and this as s here we have l minus 1 7 and here we have l minus 1 7 then for the values 2 to 5 okay we'll have a value of 7 so between 2 to 5 we'll have the value 7 okay and outside this the values are zero so your zero between 2 to 5 we have the value 7 and then again zero so this would be the graph for clipping next is bit plane slicing now again we have our input image here and this topic is very simple again we have n equal to 3 okay which is 3 bits and l is equal to 8 now we understood this before why we have considered 3 bits here okay now this 3 bit plane can be divided into three different planes msb plane center bit plane and lsb plane okay so what we'll do is first we'll convert our input image into three bit image okay which is what we'll do is suppose we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we'll convert these into binary using three bits it will be 0001 and 111 we converted this into binary now we'll convert our input image into three bit image so we'll take the value first value 4 so we'll write 100 then 011 101 010 so for each of these values we'll take the binary form 110 110 okay now we have converted this into our 3 bit image 110 